what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? When it comes to sexual attraction, everyone has their preference. The woman who is the subject of this video is not my type, but somebody like it. You know why? Because one man's poison is another man's medicine. I saw this video of a Latina woman who was posing. She seemed to have a nice shape, you know, look fit for a few seconds, and then she exhaled, and her stomach started poking out like she was seven months pregnant. She was trying to illustrate how people can fake it, especially on social media. How many times do you see these profiles of people who don't look like who they really are? Women ain't the only one who do it. A lot of dudes out there. You know, it's dudes that wear girdles also. <laughs> I mean, dudes wearing girdles. That tripped me out when I saw that. I was used to women wearing girdles. I mean, women have been wearing girdles since the, I mean, I've seen women in girdles from as far back as the 1500s. So women have always like wore girdles, but to see men wearing girdles, that kind of tripped me out. Men also uh, wearing toupees and the newest rave, shoe polish. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I say people can do whatever they want to do with their body. But if you're covering up something, you got to be prepared to accept whatever consequences that may come with it. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with people, a, a women wearing girdles or a dude putting whatever in their head. If you want to dye your beard or whatever, all that, hey man, that's you. You know, I don't have to live inside of that body. So, and I, you know, I don't have to walk your walk. You dig what I'm saying? So that's your journey. And so you have to deal with it. I have no problem with that. I just say to people, like, if you do jump out there, you know, I guess something subtle is not too bad. You know, somebody, you know, putting on a girdle, you know, to tighten it up a little bit or a dude putting a little dye in, you know, taking care of the gray or whatever. But when somebody is like totally opposite of what they claim to be, then that's when it's a real problem. And it's not just in looks. It's also people acting like that they're financially secure and they ain't even got two nickels to rub together, but they're faking it. Quick story. When I was 17, I was talking on the phone to this girl who I had never met personally. One day I decided to hop on the bus and go to the south side to meet her at her house. I'm from the north side. So this trip took me about two hours and two buses to get there. I get to the house I asked for. The girl was like, this me? I was like, yeah, uh, my homeboy was looking for you. Let me go get him. Why well, you could have put that cartoon music in the background. I was like, <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> oh, man. Totally opposite of what she described herself to be. Oh, man. I'm talking about a booger bear. It was bad, family. It was bad. I almost had to be hospitalized from the shock.
Many of you already know this, so perhaps I'm telling Noah about the flood. In any event, I wanted to read some of the comments I saw online, starting with <laughs> some guy said, that's actually impressive. So he got the joke. Uh, some other guy says, still smashing if you passing because of some gut you gay thrills a uh, faggot. Uh, somebody else said, I'd Roy diggity that. Another guy said, had me food. Somebody else said, that's a Leo's uh, list I can tell by the hotel room taking those pics for backstage. Somebody else said, never stopped in word before. I'm still smashing. Somebody else said, I was still smashed. The F y'all talking about. Nothing wrong, would still smash. Somebody else said, N word, st uh, stay thirsting over bees they'll never meet. Somebody else said, she has a little belly that can easily be flattened. Y'all some faggots. It's one of the favorite words on this website. I don't want to call them out, but perhaps y'all know what I'm talking about already. In any event, it looks like, and somebody else said, F y'all, I'm still smashed. So it looks like the overall consensus here is that uh, these guys that are attracted to old girl will still smash uh, small belly, big belly, whatever. What say you? If a girl shot a picture out there, a video out there, showing that she got like this perfect form, perfect shape, or at least a nice shape. And then you showed up, you met her, and you found out she had about a about 20 pounds in her stomach, an extra 20 pounds in her stomach. Would you still get out? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?